Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, double honor to our apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, peace and blessing to the elect of Israel, Shalom. Everything is a potential video topic. Everything is a potential video. So there is no excuse. There is no excuse. Period, man. All right. No excuse for any of us. Every brother should be doing videos. There is no excuse as to why brothers are not putting up videos when everything you see around you is a potential video topic. Ephesians chapter five, verse 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. See then that you walk circumspectly, circumspectly, circumspect means to look around you, circum meaning round, round or around you, and spec meaning to look. Like you have spectacles, for example, you have glasses, you see through your glasses, okay? You know, you have a actual spectacle a theater, something that people look at. So circumspect, meaning around you, you look, you look around you, you see what's going on around you. Okay. You see us just entering into the year of prophecy, 2020, the year of prophecy already. Trump is bombing Iraq. Okay. Murdering their top commanding general, Soleimani. Okay. You see what's going on. You see that all these different nations are not with America. America's allies, like F America, you on your own. That's not of our interest. You see that there was a recent earthquake, a 5.8 earthquake in Puerto Rico. Okay? You see people are going crazy. You see there's division. Egyptian against Egyptian. You know, Republicans are against the Democrats and vice versa. Division all in the, the uh, country. People going crazy. All right. You know, you see the condition of our people. They're waxing worse and worse. So we are in the pinnacle of the prophecies. There is no excuse, man. The, the microchip. Hey, it's here. That system is here, man. And it's slowly but surely being implemented. But things are about to speed up. But the point is, man. There is no excuse. If you look around you, everything is a potential video topic. Period, man. So see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, because you know what's going on. Brothers in the truth are the only ones that know what's going on. OK, everyone else is in a spiritual sleep, but you're not a dead body anymore. You're not a dry bone anymore. OK, like it tells you in verse 14, wherefore he saith, awake thou that sleepest, arise from the dead, the dead state of mind, and Yahweh Shai shall give thee light. He gave you the truth. He gave you this truth, man, so you can see. You see what's going on. While everyone is in darkness, you know, ignorance. But the point is, you looking around you, you know what's going on. There's no excuse, man. For you brothers that, you know, don't do the work. And also a recent update. Yahweh Shai is coming back. Is back in motion. You know. Esau gave me a strike. Which really. That strike they gave me. They was only supposed to have my channel disabled for a week. They had my channel down for three. To going on four weeks. So they just recently allowed me to start uh, uploading again. But what I decided to do, since we're in the end now, hey, man, hell, I'm all in. I'm going to upload on both channels. Both Yahweh Shai is coming back and also Hasten is coming. And Lord will, you know, put some more channels in motion, man, because we're in the end. OK, so there's no excuse, man, for any of us. It's time to go hard, man. Go hard to go home. Ain't you ready to get the hell up out of here? Ain't you ready to be in the kingdom of heaven? Ain't you ready for the heathen to be under us? Esau, 
and the other nations subjugated under us. All right. But let me read some more. Let me read it again and read some more. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly. You see what's going on around you, man. It's time to do the work. Okay? Before the famine of the world come. Then you're going to be feeling like shit because you didn't do anything, man. Not as fools, but as wise. Because you got the light. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Now, you can't buy back time. But you can use your time wisely. OK, you use this opportunity to do the work. OK, because time is a spiritual currency. You know. That's exactly what it is, man. It's a spiritual currency. You know, and it keeps going, man, so you can't get it back. All right. You can't get time back, but you can take advantage of the time that you have. OK. The scriptures speak about how time and chance happen to them all. So use this uh, time, man, and this chance to do the work. Because very soon that chance and that time ain't going to be here. Things are going to shift. Okay? Redeeming the time because the days are evil. We're in a dark time, man. And it's going to get worse. Wherefore, be ye not unwise. But understanding what the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is. And you know what the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is. Yahweh Shai had told his disciple uh, Peter, the head of the church, feed my lambs. He told him that three times, man. And the number three represents understanding. So you understand and you know what the will is, man. Do the work. Okay. And that's it on that. So let me go from there. Let me get. Second Corinthians 12. Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 19. Again, think ye that ye excuse ourselves unto you. We speak before Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, but we do all things, dearly beloved, for your edifying. That's why we do it, man. We don't just do videos randomly for nothing. And then the scriptures say how your labor is not in vain in your how about Shem Yahushah. You're going to get rewarded. But the point is, you do all things for the edifying of the body, for the building up of the body, and for the building up of uh, yourself. For the building up of yourself also. Because, you know, scriptures say how a man shall eat good by the fruit of his lips. You know, you're edifying yourself too. You're learning too. Okay? But we're doing this for the building up of the house of David, you know, the, the uh, dearly beloved, you know, and so we can be saved, man, point blank, period. So let me go from there. I'm going to end this off in the book of Luke, chapter 10, and I'll start at verse 1, Luke 10 and 1, after these things, Yahweh appointed other 70 also. You know, Lord in all caps is Yahweh. But, you know, really right here is talking about Yahweh Shai. How he appointed other 70 because he had more than just 12 disciples. Okay. After these things, I'll say Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai was doing it, but he did it in the name of his father. So after these things, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai appointed other 70 also. And sent them two by two, or sent them two and two, before his face into every city and place, whither he himself would come. Therefore said he unto them, listen to this right here. The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Okay, now what is the harvest? The harvest represents the Israelites that are being gathered unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Because harvest goes into reaping. Okay? Now it says the laborers are few. So there needs to be more workers, man. More prophets. More prophets prophesying. If you know this truth, do something, man. Do the work. Pray ye therefore the Lord Yahweh Shah of the harvest, of this gathering, 
that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. So you pray that more brothers wake up and more brothers teach, which Elder Apostle Har he believes that the elect are already sealed. And, and that can very well be true, man. You know, but you pray that more brothers start teaching, man, to wake up more brothers, man. You know, we need to be seeing a camp in Japan, a camp in Colombia, you know, a camp in Russia somewhere, you know. Hey, man, this is it, brothers. This is it, man. It's time for you to give it all that you have, man. Give it all you got. And for that word harvest. Strong's G 2326. That is mass. That is mass. And it means harvest the act of reaping or gathering figuratively of the gathering of men, Israelite men, into the kingdom of the most high. And the kingdom of the most high begins with this knowledge. And what you have with shall say, the kingdom of the most high is within you. So this knowledge embodied with the Israelite men is the kingdom of heaven. You know, the new Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. But we are going to ultimately be that new Jerusalem. You know, because the new Jerusalem is the Israelites with an upgrade. We're going to get those immortal bodies, those glorified bodies. So he's going to make us brand new, but it's the same people. But before that, we have to teach this word. Our people have to wake up and, and they're going to teach brothers, man, you know, until it's time for salvation. And that's the ultimately the ultimate uh, reaping. That's the ultimate gathering. When, when the Lord beams us up, first you're gathered by the word. Of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, but then you're physically gathered by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai into those chariots, those ships, okay? And also the harvest represents the end of this world, man. You know, the believers, the chosen are delivered, and the wicked are gathered to destruction, okay? By way of, you know, all these different calamities that's uh, coming, and ultimately those nuclear missiles. So I hope you were edified. I want to say, Kahalayim. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rakakwadash. You know, once again, call Halayim, Allah Hayyanawa, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, great millstone. Peace and bless to the elect. You brothers stay strong, man. Kwam Yasharala, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, Baba Kusha, a Baba Baal.